Hey there everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Chantel and in this video I'm going to be covering Vivado store integration with ActiveHDL. So ActiveHDL simulator can be integrated with many other software suites used for synthesis and analysis of HDL designs. Through third-party open source scripts, Xilinx Vivado is one of those software suites that ActiveHDL can be integrated into. Integrating these two together gives the user a powerful design flow with the power of ActiveHDL's high-performance simulator and Vivado's robust synthesis and implementation toolset. So first things first, we're going to need to have Vivado open, preferably on the main launch window. Just keep in mind that for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Vivado 2022.1 and for ActiveHDL, I'll be using version 13.1. We need to make sure that the proper active HDL install folder is saved in the path variable of Avado. So on the main menu window, go to Tools and then Settings. From there, go to Third Party Simulators and in the Install Path section, you can see that there's an option to set the install path for active HDL. It's already set here properly for me, but for you guys, Make sure it points to the right location of the active HDL executable. And to show you guys, you want to point to the path where the executable file is located, which is found in the Aldic bin folder. Next, we'll want to make sure that active HDL's simulator plugin is installed through the Vovato store. We're going to go back to Tools and this time go to Vovato store. If there's a notification pop-up, just hit OK, and you can see all the tickle apps listed. Now just scroll down until you find the active HDL simulator. Right now you could see it's installed for me, but if it's not installed for you, go ahead and click on the install button, and after some time, the installation will finish. Now in order for Xilinx Vivado projects to work properly inside of active HDL simulator, we need to make sure that the libraries are compiled in ActiveHDL. You can see here that I've already got the Xilinx libraries attached inside ActiveHDL. You can do this multiple ways. You can install libraries by going to the Compile Simulation Libraries on the main screen of Vivado. Select the simulator. Select the location of where you want the compiled library to be and make sure the simulator executable path is correct. Then just click on Compile. Note that this will take some time before it completely finishes. You can also just go to the Downloads page of Aldex website, and you can go to the Windows 64-bit link underneath the newest version of ActiveHDL. And from there, you can download the executable that will install the libraries for Vivado for you. So once we got all the libraries compiled and inside of Active HDL, we can now open up an example. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm actually going to be using one of Avado's examples. So we're going to go to File, Project, then Open Example. It's going to take us through this project wizard, and at this point of the wizard, I'm going to select the BFT example. Hit Next and then just go through the rest of the details and click finish. It'll now open up the new project. Now that we've got our project open, we can go over to flow and then simulation settings. Make sure to change the active simulator to active HDL. And notice how when the simulator changes, the tabs underneath them change to match the options of the simulator selected. Underneath the Compilation tab, you can set more compilation parameters, such as Enabling Debug. Under the Elaboration and Simulation tabs are parameters you can set for the simulation, like the runtime. You can even enable code coverage options from Vivado. Just make sure that both the Compilation and Simulation settings of code coverage are enabled. When you're satisfied with all the settings, click Apply and then click OK. Once finished, we can now begin the simulation. 
head over to Flow Navigator on the left and click on Run Simulation. From there, you can choose the type of simulation you'd like to run. In this case, it'll just be a behavioral simulation. Once that is clicked, Aldex Compiler executes the compilation macro in which the output is redirected to the Vovato Tickle Console window. And after successful compilation, it will execute the simulation macro. Vovato generates these DL macro scripts for compilation and simulation based on the settings provided. The compilation macro sets up the working libraries to the design that will be compiled, maps the Xilinx Vovato libraries, and runs the compilation with the options specified in project settings. The simulation macro initializes and runs the simulation session, or recording the signal history to the simulation database. When the simulation is completed, the history of signals is presented in the Active HDL waveform viewer. From this point on, you can now fully use the features of Active HDL Simulator to look through the simulation data given. You can navigate through the simulation history using the arrow keys, and to browse the design sources, use the view source of the item, view generated code, or view declaration option from the context menu of the structure tab of the design browser window. For code coverage, just go over to simulation, generate report, and open it up from there. And you can see how the code coverage fully analyzes and covers the Vovato design. And that about wraps it up for this tutorial on integrating ActiveHDL with Vovato. I hope this combination of tools will help you all out in your current and future projects. And thank you all for watching.